to the channel you are watching react 30 day challenge and today we will be learning keeping components pure so let's get started some javascript functions are pure okay so what is a pure function pure function only perform a calculation and nothing more so they will get uh, input they will do some calculation to that input and they will just return that input Okay, basically they are not changing uh, any state of props. Although I am not sure you can change your props directly. But yeah, basically you just get a value, you perform certain operation to it without uh, changing that value. So you just took, take a value, perform some operation to it, create your own new value and just return that new value. By strictly only writing your component as pure function, you can avoid an entire class of baffling bugs and unpredictable behavior as your code base code. So our main motive should be here is to always keep our components pure. And when, if I take the earlier explanation they have given for a pure function, so basically we accept our state do something with that state and return something a copy of that state that's all you're not changing any state you're not updating it you're not affecting another component based on your action that should be your goal while creating components so this is a very important point we need to keep in mind while creating pure components i'm gonna add this as well here in our notes Awesome. To get these benefits though, there are a few rules you must follow. Okay, let's see how to able to do that. What we will going to learn today, what purity is and how it helps you to avoid bugs. Okay, how to keep components pure by keeping changes out of render phase. Okay, how to use a strict mode to find mistakes in your component. Cool. So, very important thing. Why this is important? Whenever you do coding, the most problem or the most time consuming part is not creating an application, but debugging a bug. Sometimes it takes months to debug a bug. And trust me, it's every coder nightmare. So if you are new to coding, there's something is called Friday production. <laughs> oh, we dread that because what happened is if your code breaks or there's a bug in your Friday, ta-ta, bye-bye your weekends. So yeah, avoid bugs as much as possible. So there's a very good meme also there. Why developers prefer dark mode? Because light mode attracts, because light attracts bugs. <laughs> awesome, let's get started then. What is purity? First, we need to understand what is a pure component is. Uh, then we can you know able to create them and make it useful purity components as formula in computer science and especially in the world of functional programming a, perf a pure function is a function with following characteristics its mind's own business it does not change any object or variable that existed before it was called okay same input same output given the same input a pure function should always return the same result okay we're gonna see both this point so basically your pure function is your that colleague or your that you know uh, that person you work with who minds their own business what you give them they do their work and just go home be that person don't be that gossip carrot nobody likes that so let's add this. A pure function is with following characteristics. What are the characteristics of a pure function? So, my apologies, my dog is a little frisky today. Okay, you might already be familiar with one of the examples of pure function or formula in math. So consider this formula. Okay, y is equal to 2x, x is equal to 2, y will become 4 x is equal to 3, y will become 6, x is equal to 3, y won't give you 9 or minus 1 or 2.5 depending on the time of the day, state or stock market. So basically you can predict the value based on this. So if you give x, it will always return the twi uh, twice of that x. It will not return some 
random arbitrary value. Now, when I say random and arbitrary, remember that if you are using anything random, math random in your function, it is not a pure function. So yeah, that could be one criteria. So whenever you set a value, you can actually predict the value or the calculation that the uh, function will return. We made this into JavaScript function, what it looks like. So you give a number, the number is double. In the above, in the above example, double is a pure function. It pass, if you pass three, it will always return six. React is designed around this concept. React assumes that every component you write is a pure function. People, people of this world, and people of this React community, remember this, React assumes whatever you write is a pure function, so it assumes that the output would be predictable, you are not doing any random shit, and it assumes that you are not updating any state of other components. So, yeah, I'm gonna add this as well. So let's see our app.js. We have a function recipe which takes something, a prop drinkers, and drinkers is being shown. So basically, it's they tell you the recipe, what to do. Okay. In app.js, oh, they make a spiced chai. Any chai lovers here? I, I always prefer chai. I do not like coffee. For me, chai is very soothing. And since I'm an Indian, so that's my go-to beverage. Okay, so recipe drink one, drink is two. Okay, okay. So do you guys think this is a pure font component? Um, do um, comment it in the comment section. Yes, and if you commented yes, then it's true. It's, it is a, a pure component because it's accepting a props just doing its own work, not updating any state and showing. Okay. When you pass drinkers to recipe one, it will uh, return JSX containing one cup of milk. Always, if you pass drinkers four, it will return JSX uh, four cups of milk. Always, just like a math formula. You could also think of your component as recipe. If you follow them, you don't introduce new ingredient. During the cooking process, you will get the same dish every time. That dish in JSX component serves to server serves to react to render. Okay. So basically, what they are trying to do is say, um, think uh, your pure, pure component as that dish. So if you what they mean is that if you give a certain ingredients to that dish. You will always predict what it is like suppose if i'm making um, uh, butter chicken so if i have to send dish like i will send chicken butter spices and what else do we get um, onions and vegetables and stuff i can predict oh it will if we cook this we will get a butter chicken but suppose while cooking i get very uh innovative and try to add rice inside that vegetables too then i cannot predict that it will be a butter chicken it can be any rice dish probably not even biryani but yeah but yes so introducing some new you know dish or new ingredient inside your uh, pre-decided uh, uh, or expected ingredients create a new dish that's making it not a pure component side effects okay do you, should we add anything uh, 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 um, i think we are good here let's go to the side effects part side effects are unintended consequences so life is not as simple even though you want to be that person, you know, who mind their own business and just do what is being told. It's very difficult to live life, live life like that. There will be certain, you know, requirements, environment and people which sometimes let you lose your fuse. So these side effects, how to handle them? 
it seems like we are talking about more life than react and coding mm-hmm. itself i mean sometimes you can find the whole life philosophy in just piece of code i should quote this <laughs> react rendering process must always be pure okay components should only return their jsx does not change any object variable that existed before rendering that would make them impure so we don't want impurity in our components but how to deal all these things here's the component that breaks the rule okay they have a guest zero now guest is guest plus one and t cup and it's returning cool now let's go to dset we have cup one cup two cup three cool mm, so any 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 like any idea why this is an impure function okay let's see if you have just type it in the chat or the comment section uh, let's see if anybody able to guess it if you do i'm really gonna like this comment i'm gonna pin it to the main okay so we, if you see the result, we have T cup for guest two, T cup for guest four, six. Mm, why this is happening? So basically, initially what happened is that you have a T cup here. So this function will get called. It will become two here. Then the two, that two value will not get reset to zero or one it will be present so whenever the second person called it will get another plus two third per component called get another plus two so what happening happen is this component is changing the value inside this another component so first of all all these three is three different components maybe calling the same component function but they have their own state they have their own you know uh, rendering process so what is being happened here is you're updating state or you're updating the value using first component that values exist for the second component as well and they are taking that value and updating it but should not be the case it makes what it is doing ma- making this component dependent on the first one making the whole component impure this component is reading and writing a guest variable declared outside of it okay this means calling this component multiple times will produce different JSX. Absolutely. So basically, for this cup, there should be only one guest. But here, what we are getting, we are getting four because it is taking the value from our previous component. If other component read guest, they will produce different JSX too. On when we they render, that's not predictable. We cannot predict the actual value for it going back to our formula y is equal to x now even if 2x we cannot tr- uh, even with x uh, equal to 2 we cannot predict that y will be 4 that is the reason why it's failing our test could fail our user would be baffled planes would fall out of the sky you see how this would lead to a confusing bug <laughs> yeah something something's Things smaller like this create more annoying bugs than the big uh, functionality issues. So as they have said, test will be fail, user will be baffled, even you will be, you will be confused for a minute. What is the what the f is happening? Planes could fly fall out of the sky. So yeah, be careful. <laughs> you can fix this component by passing guest as a props instead. Okay. I'm gonna accept a guest here and you just write the guest number you yeah, just write guest as one guest as two guest as three okay now your components for pure as a JS is written only the dependence on the guest prop in general you should not expect your component to be rendered in any particular order okay so okay cool now your guest can have as many like you it, it's not important or it should be like your first component should not depend on your second component actually because you should expect any of these component can render at any of the time at any of the places in react 
So in general, you should not expect the copy to be read, rendered in any particular order. This is an important point to keep in mind. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you call it y is equal to 2x before or after y is equal to 5x, 5x, both formula will resolve independently of each other in the same way each component should only think of itself and not to attempt to co coordinate or depend upon during other renderings renderings like a school exam each component should calculate traces of their own so basically like a student you should depend on yourself and just do your own exam okay let's see deep dive detecting impure calculation with strict mode although you might have not used them all yet in react there's three kind of input that you can read while rendering okay so we have taken look into props and state and the third one is the context actually uh, so in react there are three kinds of input you can read so let's add this to our uh, notes you should always read this input as read only okay so if you're getting a props, state and context, do not change them in your, as an input, do not change them in your component, change it only and only. Uh, if you want to change it, create a copy of them, change that and then send that output. If you want to change something in response of user input, you should set state instead of writing to a variable. You should never change pre pre-existing variable or object file in the component rendering. React offers a strict mode in which it calls each component function twice during development. By calling the component function twice, React mode helps to find the component that breaks this rule. Okay. Let's have this for React strict part. Okay, maybe I'm adding it on different. I'm just going to remove. Oops, control V. Note in how original example display gets two, four, six, intro, one, two, three. The original function was impure, so calling it twice broke it, but fixed pure function works even if the function is called twice every time. Pure function only calculates, so calling them twice won't change anything. Just like calling double twice does not change and return, solving y2x does not change, same input, same. Okay, strict mode has no effect in production, so it won't slow down the app for your user to opt into strict mode. You can wrap it your component in a react strict mode so just add this to your component and it will work real strict mode will be activated local limitation your components little secret okay in the bubble example the problem was the component changed the pre-existing vari variable while rendering this is often called mutation to make sound it fits carrier the component changed a pre-existing value by rendering this is called mutation so they can ask you what is a mutation basically just to scare you off and not to use it pure function do not mutate variable outside the function scope or an object that are created before the call that's make them impure however it's completely fine to change the variable and object that you have just created while rendering okay let's see so you have a guest here Okay, in this example, you create an array of an assigned value of cups. Okay, so we have cups here. We're gonna add the value here. Okay, uh, you can assign and put a dozen of cups here. If the cups variable of the array are calculated outside the T gathering, so yeah, it would be a huge problem if that would be changing the pre existing object pushing. So basically they're trying to say if you put this let cup outside of the here put it here somewhere so if i control x and put it here okay uh okay we encountered two children with the same key see 
this is the problem you're gonna face a huge problem here how is fine because you created them during the same winter so you can you know add new components new values and object just add it while rendering it okay do not change the pre-existing one that's all we are saying so no code outside the teacher i think will ever know that this happened this is got a uh, local mutation in your component little secret it's fine because you created them no problem so that is what a local mutation is basically during the rendering you will update your variable where you can cause uh, where you can cause side effects while functional programming relies heavily on purity at some point somewhere something has to change that's kind of point of programming right um, there the best part about programming is user has the ability to do some action based on which we can change a value these changes update the screen starting the animation changing the data are called side effects uh, so what is a side effects basically something which updates your screen and stuff so I'm gonna add the changes here okay in react side effect usually belongs inside events handler okay events handler are the function that reacts run when you perform some action for example when you click a button event handles are what when user performs some actions and the function which handles that actions are event handlers so if you click a button you you know the event will be triggered so event handlers don't need to be pure okay this is important even though event handlers are defined inside your component they do not run during renderings okay so event handlers don't need to be pure so this is where you're gonna ha handle your you know side effects or if you have exhausted all other options you can find the right event handler for your side effects you can still attach to it to your return uh, with use effect call in your components. So you can use a hook called use effect to handle side effects. This tells React to execute it later after rendering when side effects are allowed. However, this approach should be your last resort. So first thing first, uh, do not add or do any changes while rendering. If you really want to do the changes, add an event handler. Based on event handler, that changes should be done. And if you feel like that event handlers are not sufficient enough to do your logic and rendering, use side effect, sorry, use effect. Use effect should be your last resort when you find, you cannot find any other way. When possible, try to express your logic with the rendering alone you will be surprised how far this can take you okay so if you have exhausted all of the kind of provide okay so i'm gonna add this as well cool when possible try to express your logic with rendering alone you will be surprised how far this can be taken let's deep dive in this why does why does react care about purity yeah what is this deal why is it so crazy about this purity stuff creating our life more difficult writing pure function can take some habits and discipline but it also unlocks marvelous opportunities so these kinds of things these small things or important things is what why does react care about purity your component could run in different environment for example on server they return the same results basically for every user should have the same experience uh, for some users should not show the different data you can improve the performance by skipping rendering components whose input have not changed so basically once your render is being done it's done unless and until you add an event so it helps to improve the performance if data changes in the middle of rendering deep component read react can restart the rendering without wasting time to finish outdated render purity makes it safe to calculate stop at any time so basically if your state keeps changing during rendering react can you know render any component first or anything 
that which may affect if you are not using pure component. Every new React picture we are building take advantages of advantage of purity for data fetching to animation to performance, keeping the component pure unlocks the power of React parity. So it is very important to keep your component pure. Probably this is what something which will make you a better React programmer. So writing pure functions a habit. So I'm gonna add this as well to our notes. It's getting pretty big guys. <laughs> so okay. Awesome. Once we are done, 